the four words that can ruin your life. While these words are similar to an email you may have received in the early like 2010s that go along the lines of threatening your family or friends, or just telling you some odd story while telling you to forward the email to four other people, or else you will suffer, uh, along with your friends and your loved ones. But this is a little bit different than that. While I've spoken about it briefly in the past, these four words, along with an image, are supposedly all you need to know to invite evil and pain into your life. For those who are easily fearful of paranormal activities to the point where it can completely alter the way you act or live the rest of your life, I wouldn't recommend watching this. But for those of you intrigued, continue on. Solar Plexus Clown Gliders It's a legend that supposedly states the four words I have just said to you as well as a picture on the side, apparently is all you need to have invited a paranormal phenomena into your life. But before we talk about what it does, let's learn about the origins of this phenomenon. It's believed that the origin of SPCG is an early internet legend that was boosted after a Trojan virus under the same name gained quick recognition. The Trojan itself was a jump scare prank that was especially cruel because the code itself could wait indefinitely to then suddenly flash a scary image on screen at random times which was in turn terrify users that didn't know their computer was infected. The urban legend following the Trojan helped to further cement the thoughts that the computer was haunted by SPCG. The rise of SPCG was at the perfect time with ostentation myths on digital devices coming to popularity. Ostentation is the act of showing or demonstrating something, which can be used in this scenario for recreating a tradition or following folkloric scenarios. An example of an ostentation myth itself would be Bloody Mary, which called people to stand in front of their mirrors and recite Bloody Mary's name three times and then she would appear and kill them. Eventually, horrorcore artist Tula Drip included a song based on SPCG on their 2020 album The Exorcist, and a screamo band named Demos Crown officially had released a song with the title Solar Plexus Clown Gliders that explored the legend in 2021. Now we can learn about solar plexus itself, which originates in Hindu culture. Solar plexus harbors both positive and negative emotion. This chakra is one of the seven main ones, and it's the center of perseverance and the desire to win, but is also the center of anger, irritation, hate, Envy, greed, destructiveness, violence, cruelty, resentment, worry, anxiety, fear, selfishness, aggressiveness, and more. The idea of demonic forces that feed off negative emotion is widespread throughout the world in varieties of cultures. It's thought that the phrase was first used in New Age circles during the 80s, and the phrase itself was engineered by a CIA experiment in mind control, as those who had repeated the phrase, solar plexus clown gliders, had often felt an unseen presence or an encroaching cold. Similar experiments were attempted as a part of the MK Ultra experiments. Victims of SPCG include Dead Rabbit radio podcast host Jason Carpenter, who had described seeing a giant cobra rise and slither down the aisles of a courtroom. And following his experience, he described his mood and quality of life taking a serious decline. It was only after researching SPCG that he had speculated his experience was related. He thinks that SPCG may be a mimetic parasite that only exists to spread human suffering. SPCG itself is typically described as a demonic jester figure, but its form is completely fluid. It's capable of infiltrating and deforming any visual surface once it has enough power over its victim. Its body is said to be made of oozing forms of slugs or snakes, and it can often appear to be made of a substance that is outside of the normal laws of three dimensions, similar to black stick men. But attributing any specific form to SPCG is useless because it is ultimately not reducible to its hallucinatory contents, but to the rumored effects of a phrase created to trigger mental deterioration. Apparently, there is also a set of black and white images Yet only one of these images is currently available online, which will achieve the same effect as the term itself. Other rumors say that there's a special frequency you can hear that is also associated with SPCG. This is currently all the information that's known about this phenomenon. With what you've heard today, this has made you infected with SPCG and all the evil that comes along with it. Hopefully you've all enjoyed this video. I know it's slightly different than what I would normally make. Uh, and I'm also sorry I had to wait so long for just a shorter video, but I'm trying pretty hard, especially with 
school, being a junior in high school, kind of has a lot of class where it's kicking the shit out of me. But if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you for all your support. I love you all, and hopefully I get to see you very soon in the next video.